Well, certainly today, if you have to mention one thing that moved the markets, oil. Mm. Prices settling in New York at their highest ever, 100. Should we bring out the exactly where it was? We have it. Here you go, folks. One hundred dollars and one. But well, you don't have to show the chart. All you have to do is show this. We'll show a tight shot. One hundred and a penny. One hundred and a penny. That's what did it today. That will right. buy you two a barrel, barrels of oil. Two barrels of We're oil. We're holding two barrels of oil right here. Which, by the way, <laughs> if you don't cover your shorts, you're stuck with the actual physical oil. That's right. If you thought and you were betting that oil would go down, and you got caught flat-footed, and your expiration happened, you would get some type of large vehicle backing up <laughs> barrels of oil and you own it. You own it at this price, $100 and a penny. Crazy. This happened about 215, 220. Just about. And then the price settled, but you saw the stock market lose much of its momentum due to that high oil price. So what's ahead for the markets? We turn again to our Fox panel, and uh, we also include Tracy Burns here on this. Pat Powell, tell us, uh, what do you think when you see $100 and a penny for oil? Where's that going? Gary Kalbaum's convinced it'll go higher. Uh, beyond this. Well, I, I think it's going to go higher too, but it, mine is the supply demand argument. Until we get some kind of change in supply demand, it's going, it's going to 120. But how does that affect the stock market? Um, it affects the stock market because to the extent that you're taking money out of the consumer's pockets, you're putting it into, into oil, into gasoline, you're not able to go out to the retail store and to buy other things. Uh, you're going to see, uh, the, the concern is that there'll be a pullback by the U.S. consumer. Tracy, there was good news today uh, that drove the market higher. Good news from Walmart, Office etc. Uh, oil was high pretty much all day, but the moment it touched a hundred dollars, that's when the market moved south. Could you note that moment on the floor there? Absolutely. I and mean, actually, I was here with Alan Valdez right before it happened too, and you saw it just reversed and plummeted. You know what? It was. We were using the word conundrum all day. It was kind of a, a conundrum why oil was up and the market was up at the same time because that doesn't typically happen. We started this day off almost up a hundred points. We had this fabulous commodities rally, and everything was up. The oil stocks in particular, Hess, Halliburton, ExxonMobil, Chevron. Let's keep in mind that today, Chevron is trading in the Dow for the first time. So you have Chevron and Exxon, which uh, was a lot point. of the reason for the big uh, rally, why we were up at one point. Of course, then, once it hit 100, psychology hit, sentiment hit, it all came tumbling down. We also had the financials not helping us at all, too, today. You know, they, we got news from Wall Street, Wall Street Journal reported that Lehman might potentially be writing off more. You had Credit Suisse, like the Peacock, the Untouchable, coming out and saying $2.85 billion write-off, plus they were lowering first quarter profits by a billion dollars, which did not help things at all. As you said, we had good news from Office Max and Walmart, but that didn't help the retail stocks much at all. And the tech sector was down, even with Office Max's news. Tech sector was down, even with Microsoft announcing that they were going in with a proxy fight, and they were basically going to rally the shareholders to let help th this deal go through with Yahoo still didn't help things after all. So here we are. We're down about 16. The transports are down now. We have a lot of red on the screen, even with volume at about 1.3 billion. Liz and David, back to you guys. Okay. What about you, Gary Kelpom? Do you think that oil touching and going through $100 a barrel was what moved that market? It seems pretty evident that it was. Do you think that you'll continue to see them interlaced? The well, markets look, today, oil. Yeah, today, direct correlation between oil prices uh, and the stock market. And I make note, even when the Dow was up 100 today, most retail stocks were down because of that. And I also have to make note of something else. Financials were down all day today. I'm very bearish on them. I think Tracy said it, and I believe it. There's going to be billions more in surprise, surprise, surprise write-downs in the weeks to come. And I think that could have a weighing down effect on the market also. So not a pretty sight. When you have interest rates going higher, gold going higher, oil prices going higher. Uh, we got uh, some problems for the market at this time. And Victoria, we should mention the NASDAQ was down as well. Uh, Microsoft, uh, more word there about what they may or may not do with regard to Yahoo. Right. How do you see the tech sector? Well, yeah, Microsoft is getting a lot more aggressive. Um, the tech sector is very interesting right now because we have Hewlett Packard announcing earnings um, in a couple minutes here now. And everyone's watching to see are they going to be more like IBM and somewhat immune to uh, recession like slow conditions or like a Cisco, which projected a tough year ahead. So Hewlett Packard coming up is a really big uh, piece of news for, for Silicon Valley and tech. Well, yeah, we should let people know Hewlett Packard trading up about 22 cents. Well, now it's 17 cents for the 
moment. But Peter Schiff, your thoughts on the uh, intertwining of the oil market and the stock market today? Well, you know, I think the market was going to sell off today regardless of oil prices. It's a I bear market. We rallied on down strength overseas. Is a sell -off, but the, Peter. down the, 17 the, is not the, a sell off. No, the, the bigger issue is the bond market. You know, look what's happened in the 10-year bond. We've moved from a low of 3.2 yield about four weeks ago to 3.9 today. If rates keep backing up at that pace, we can be at 4.5 a month from now. We can be at a 5% yield on the 10-year in two months. Nobody is looking for this. This is going to be, if this happens, this is going to be a major negative for the economy, for the stock market, for the housing market. And I think that is more related to what's happening uh, in inflation and the price of oil than in the day-to-day -day gyration of a bear market in stock. And there is the closing bell, the trading day coming to a close. And what you see there, down 13 points. Doesn't look so bad, but yeah, in a way, I guess Peter's right. We did see a sell-off from up close to triple digits, and you can blame this. A hundred dollars and a penny. This is what will now cost for a hundred for, for a barrel of oil. Yep. This is it, $100.01. Now, we don't know how long that'll last. A lot of questions about whether the political news might actually be getting better in places like Nigeria. Uh, if that happens, will it pull back? But clearly, it's what affected the market today. There was, the market was trying so desperately to have a triple-digit day, it mm. seemed, about midday. And then the news that oil was going to stick at that high price and actually topping above 100